Hello, my most amazing artist. It's me, also an artist, also your art teacher. We're here on the floor of my art studio today because you have reached the end of your art challenge week. Woo! Congratulations. You should be proud of yourself for taking on one, two, three whole new challenges, trying them out, and making art that you maybe have never made before. Good job. If you haven't felt proud of yourself for trying something new, right now you should feel a little tiny bit of good deep inside saying, nice work, you tried something new. Today, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible because today is our ultimate challenge. The ultimate challenge I have for you is I want you to try and make artwork that you can be really proud of. I want you to make something that you can be proud of. This means you might need to make some good art. Now, I know what you're thinking. Miss Conklin, I'm not good at art. All right, so some of you might be thinking that, and that's why I have the scroll of good art. Oh, the scroll of good art, sorry about that. The scroll of good art has all of the secrets to good art. Let's take a look. Our first secret, idea. You need to have an idea in your head before you start. That means today, I want you to either pause this video now or take a few minutes after you watch this video to think of an idea of what you want to make. It's Fun Friday, which means your idea options are limitless. You could choose to do a skill builder or a challenge from before. You could choose one of the Fun Friday games and make art through that game. You probably can't choose to watch the museum video since this challenge is all about making art, so I would choose something where you can make art. So first, I want you to have an idea. Think of something that you want to make today for Fun Friday. It could be a gift, could be a mandala, could be a pixel painting or a pixel drawing, could be a trace drawing of Naruto. It's up to you. But once you have your idea, you need to think of a plan or how you're going to do it. That means you need to pick a way to make it. Are you going to make it on the computer? Are you going to make it on paper? Do you need to go to Skill Builder and pick a Skill Builder game? Think of what thing you're going to use to make it. Before you even start, you need to know these two things. That is the secret for good art. Now there's another secret here. Let's take a look. Ah, the ever elusive secret of time. This is something I see with a lot of you guys. You have a great idea, but by the time you've picked your idea, you only have like five minutes left of class. Hopefully I see this video is at three minutes. Hopefully we can make this video five minutes long. That gives you 25 minutes left of class. Spend no more than five minutes on the first three of these things. That way you have as much time as possible to work on your art. Last secret, oh wait, there's two more. Second to last secret is effort. That means try. If you are giving me sloppy work, like a kindergartner would draw all scribble scrabble, it not only shows me that you didn't take time to make your work, but it also shows me you had no idea and no plan of what you are making. So, Put in effort. Don't make things that are sloppy. Even if you're not good at drawing a straight line and say you've chosen to draw a straight line today, even if that was your job and that was your project, if you put in effort, if you try, it won't look sloppy. It'll look, you know, kind of good. That's the secret. There's only one more secret left, and this is maybe the most important secret of all time, and the only reason I painted the snake in a birthday party hat. Because it was fun. I want you to choose an idea that you like. Do something that is fun for Fun Friday. Now, I don't mean go wild and crazy and make scribble scrabbles on your paper, because while that is fun, it's not going to give you any uh, 
art that you might be proud of. What I mean by that is if you're going to make something, make sure you're making something that you like. Don't try to draw a realistic head because you think that's what good art is when you don't like drawing that. If you enjoy maybe drawing anime or drawing a still life or making a gif, then by all means, that's what you should be doing for Fun Friday. I see that it's already five minutes into this video, which means it's time for me to send you on your way with your challenge. Today's challenge for everyone, use Fun Friday Take the 25 minutes that you have left, come up with a good idea, decide how you will make it, make it, and then send me a photo when you're finished. If you decide to trace something off the computer, once you are finished, please color it. Please color it beautiful and neat. That way, it's a finished picture with your touch. All right, I give you guys fun Friday. Good luck, my artists, and have a good weekend. See you Monday. Bye.